Chairman and members of the governing councils of seven state-owned tertiary institutions are seated in this hall as Governor Hyacinth earlier arrives for their inauguration. <laughs> Governor earlier immediately charges the governing councils on key governance issues that will reposition the institution to compete globally through research and innovation. Let me be categorically clear. Government will not hesitate to take decisive action against any of you found wanting or involved in any unethical practice and conduct. Our collective goal is to uplift our educational standards and you must therefore approach your duties as council chairman and council members with a sense of utmost integrity, openness, accountability and professionalism. Among the chairmen is Mr. Paul Chukuma from Anambra State, who is appointed as the chairman, governing council for Benue State University, bringing on board a strong linkage between the university and industries to equip young graduates. The state-owned tertiary institutions need some support in some critical areas. And one of those we must come talk about is research and development. We need to begin to interface and link up and bridge the gap between industry and the citadel of learning. On the sideline of the event, Governor Alia, while expressing hope of improving the quality of education in Benue State, says the state is capable of paying the 70,000 Naira new national minimum wage approved by President Bola Tinubu. With all the plans and, and, and the immediate makeshift arrangements that are in place for things to function, um, things are moving. Even our IGR is increased. So it is now left to us to close more loopholes to see how much we can cash in to do many other things, including the payment of salaries. Uh, why not? We can, we, we can pay. We can pay. I, I'm focused uh, on all my purposes and intent. So what is agreed by the federal government uh, definitely is what we, the subnationals, can also just queue in to do. The financial reforms initiated by the earlier administration to help increase internally generated revenue to over 1.4 billion naira monthly, in addition to blocking all conduit pipes, may come in handy to meet the new wage demands in Benway State.